गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग ओके हाउ आर यू टुडे गुड इवनिंग टीचर गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग टीचर गुड इवनिंग How was your day? It was okay. Was okay? Yes, everything okay. Good, excellent. What about you, Hector? How was your day? It was okay too. <laughs> no. So cold, so uh, hot, <laughs> so hot, hot because, hot. Uh, yeah, because, here in Santa Ana, very, very warm. I don't know why, and mosquitoes are free <laughs> everywhere. Okay. I was going to ask who is Navy, <laughs> but I see it's Elisa. <laughs> Hello, Elisa, how are you? How was your day? Good night, teacher. Uh, today was an uh, exciting day. Everything faster, faster. My boss hungry. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, a tired day. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, but now you are here in the English class, so now you're gonna feel better. Of course. <laughs> okay. Who else? Hey, Javier. Good evening. Hi there, hello, welcome. Hello teacher, good evening. How was your day, Hi there? Very good. Very good? Okay, excellent. What about you, Javier? How was your day? It was everything okay. Everything okay. What do you do, Javier? Um, I work in real estate. Oh, your own business? Yes. Wow, oh, excellent. Own. Excellent. Okay. Claudia, how are you? How was your day? Um, hello? My day Hello. is okay. It's okay. <laughs> because uh, because uh, tomorrow I will rest. Ah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mm -hmm. I sleep <laughs> very very much. <laughs> okay. Good. Very good. Okay, Jose, Mariano, how are you? Andrea, Floor, welcome. Okay. I think it's. It is time, yeah. Okay, let, let's see, just to practice a little bit the, while we were working last night. Tell me, um, Hector, what were you doing today at 1 p.m.? 1 p.m., I was cooking my lunch. <laughs> For me and my mom, uh -huh. for my mom and, and me, and I just doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what I did? What I did? Oh, what did you eat? <laughs> uh, I did hamburgers and 
a classic hamburger <laughs> uh, with potato, with fries and and some veggies. Yeah. Uh, just that and and apple juice. Okay, good. What about you, Anna? What were you doing today at, at around 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. I went to the market because I bought some fruits and vegetables. Can you make a sentence using past continuous? I was at okay. 10 a.m. I was I wa um, um, 10, uh, 10 a.m. I was uh, going to the market because uh -huh. uh, while um i i doing that um lunch for my father a, a cocktail of fruit okay and then <clears throat> i when return my house uh when come back to my house a uh, was my father while my father called me uh, and ask me uh, a specific fruit. <laughs> but the problem is when I start here in my house. <laughs> okay, good. What about you, Javier? What were you doing today around 3 p.m.? 3 p.m.? Uh -huh. I was driving. Really? Where were you going? Um, I was driving from Santa Ana to San Salvador. Oh, really? And you didn't visit Hector. Oh. You, sh you should visit Hector. He lives in Santa Ana. The next time. Uh, next time. Okay. Hector is going to invite you for coffee and, and donuts. Okay. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What about you, Aide? Let me see. Aide, what were you doing today at 6 a.m. in the morning? And I was waiting but preparing the dinner for my family. At 6 a.m.? Yes. Uh, dinner. Really? Dinner? Very early. <laughs> yes. Because... It's very, it's very early, but it's not confused the my class. Ah, okay. Maybe you you mean at six p.m. What? You were making dinner at six p.m. Yes. Ah, ah, okay. Yes. Okay, good. Elisa, what were you doing today at 9, 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. I was making a mark where we put the clothes to be sending them pretty. At the same time, I was meeting with online. Uh, was he technical from Hospital San Juan de Dios, San Miguel? Oh. Because we are tracking, what's the name? Biological clothes to protect to COVID-19. Oh, okay. okay. Can you make uh, this uh, that? Ah. Okay, good. Aha, uh -huh, Jose, Actually, what are you talking about? Who died? Who passed away? Jose Mariano. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing today around 5 p.m.? I mm, drive into my home because I was working in a hospital today. Ah, okay, good. So you were driving home. Yeah. Okay. And Claudia, what were you doing today at noon? At noon. Yeah. Uh, 12. 12. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 
I was uh, eating. Very punctual. <laughs> uh, I was eating when it was time to check. What? When, 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 when? When I, I, when I have uh, to come back the, the work. Ah. It's okay? The so construction? You were having, you were eating lunch, so you were Uh huh, lunch. I was eating lunch. Mm -hmm. No, that's okay, that's it. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, good. Andrea, what were you doing today at 6 a.m.? I was taking my first class of university. <laughs> really? 6 a.m. in the yes, morning? It's too early, but Ooh, yeah. What, what class is that? It's criminal law. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. So be careful with Andrea, okay, people? <laughs> Okay, and what about you, Alexander? What were you doing today um, at 7 a.m.? 7 a.m. I was sleeping. I'm going oh. to be honest. I was I'm sleeping at 7 a.m. It's not a crime. It is not a crime. Don't worry. <laughs> My day is at 8 p.m. 8 a.m. Sorry, uh, 8 a.m. I was sleeping too because I went to bed at 1 a.m. in the morning really? today. Yeah, wow. I was doing some work, I work in some other things. And I'm more uh, a night person. So, uh, like me. So, yes. you understand me very well. <laughs> yeah, I work better at night. So, when everybody's sleeping, I'm working here with no okay. interruption. Okay? Good. And Gabriela, what were you doing today around uh, 2 p.m.? I was working all day in in our family business. Oh, so what is was that? A, a very um, we sell clothes. Oh. In San Salvador, yes, we oh. have two business so. Our days are very busy. What what kind of clothes you sell? Mm, just for girls and women. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. sorry Boys, no. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> okay. Boys are more complicated. <laughs> what? Yes, <laughs> it's more easy um, with a girl. <laughs> no, for <laughs> men we only have yeah very simple. <laughs> we are very mm. simple or not, man? Huh? Who's more complicated? Yeah, complicated. Of course, yeah. the more easy for us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Zaira? What were you doing today around 5 p.m.? Ah, uh, hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, 5 p.m. Yeah. I, I was working. Working yet? Yes. Hey, okay. what time do you finish work? Uh, 7 p.m. Oh. It's a, a business, a family business. Ah, okay. What uh, kind of business? It's a, a bookstore. Uh, uh -huh. At home? At home, yes. Ah, okay. That's why you're on time for the class. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and finally, Jennifer, what were you doing today at, what, 11 a.m.? 11, I was, I was driving to the, to some place to eat uh, sopa de pata. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. And where did you go? Uh, Supon Tipico. Oh. I like Sopa de Pata. <laughs> yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> it, it, it was good there? Do you recommend that place? Yes, it was really delicious. I recommend you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Vanessa, welcome, good evening. 
Okay, people, let's get started with our topic tonight. Tonight we are going to talk about this. Okay, let me share the screen with you. Here it is. Okay, in this class, we have the objective for this class. Uh, it says, in this class, you will learn some useful adverbs for telling stories. Okay. Let's see. Some adverbs are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive? Which are negative? And which are neutral? Well, I'm going to let you do that later, but let's see these adverbs that we can use to tell a story. Okay? To tell a story. We have coincidentally, fortunately, Luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. So some of these, uh, the expectation is that something negative is going to happen. Others, the expectation is that something uh, positive is going to happen. And others could be used in both uh, ways. So to uh, prepare for something uh, positive or for something negative. Okay. So first thing I want you to do is to try to classify them. Writing... P for positive, N for negative, and E for either positive or negative. Okay, so I'm going. I'm going to share this uh, screen. This is a slide in in WhatsApp. I'm going to put you in small groups, and I want you to talk. Okay, what do you think? Coincidentally, is positive. Uh, the the thing that is going to happen is positive what i'm going to tell is positive or is negative or can i can be used in in either a positive story or a negative story you know what i mean do you is it clear yes teacher yes, yes teacher yes, yes. okay yes. Very good very good. So let me. Okay. Take the screenshot for this. And I'm going to send it to WhatsApp. Here you go. Okay. Now I'm going to from groups and you discuss, okay, which of these servers are uh, positive connotation, which others have a negative connotation, and which ones can be used either for a positive or negative connotation. Okay. Good. So please join your group and work on that. See you in five minutes.
Okay, welcome back. So, uh, let's see. Let me share screen again. So tell me, coincidentally, coincidentally, is it positive, negative, or either? Either, teacher. Either. 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 Ah, okay. Fortunately, it's positive. It's positive. Positive. Good. Luckily, positive too. Positive. Positive. Miraculously, it's positive too. Positive. Positive. Sadly, negative. 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 Strangely, neutral. Either. Neutral, okay, either. Suddenly. Either, two. Either. Surprisingly. Yeah. Mm. Either. It's both. Both, okay, positive or negative, okay. Unexpectedly. It's negative. 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 Neutral is either neutral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use it in both ways. Unfortunately, negative. 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 Okay, negative. Definitely negative. Okay, very good. Now you are going to use this. So let me show you. Well, this is just to confirm. Uh, fortunately, luckily, miraculously are positive. Sadly, unfortunately, are negative. And either positive or negative, coincidentally, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly. Very good. Now, uh, not here. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to create groups again, and I I give you this um, like sentence or a statement or the start of a story, a short story. So I don't want you just to complete this sentence. This sentence must be the beginning of a short story. A story that must be as long as uh, to use at least five adverbs, five adverbs in your story. Okay? So you have to be creative, use your imagination, make it funny. Okay? It don't have to be too serious. Uh, Science fiction is included. Okay, whatever you want to tell. Horror, a horror story, a funny story, so whatever. So, but the start, the beginning is this. And one story, for example, number one. I was walking down the street when suddenly this, or when unfortunately, or when uh, whatever, okay? If you are number one, if you are number two, it started out as a normal day, but yeah, and then you, that is the beginning of your story. Okay? Okay. So, and the idea okay. is that in your story, you must use minimum five uh, adverbs. Okay, five adverbs. Is your high question? Uh huh. We only have to use one time any one of these sentences. No, you are going to use only one to start. 
Only for a certain thing we can use. Only anyway. one, okay? For example, if you are group number one, you are going to start your story saying, I was walking down the street when, uh, okay, okay. And then you continue by your own. The same okay, by your group. Own. Yes. Okay. okay, thank you. Great, group number two, it starts with this. But then the rest is your own creation. Okay. Okay, let me first share this in WhatsApp. Uh, teacher and the history have to be complementary or any, or he had two, three histories for any one of the group. No, it's only one, one story per group. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, one story per group. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. So you create it together. Uh, uh, where is, where is, not here. So I have seven stories, seven sentences, but well, maybe we can make, uh, I think I can make only six groups. Okay. The last one we can do with all the group? Well, let, I, I will give you the, your number. I will give you your number, okay? In group number one will be Jennifer and Saida. I'm going to take notes of that. Group number two, yeah, Jose Mariano and Elisa. So pay attention to your number because that is the sentence you're going to use. Group number three, Ana Molina and Gabriela Berenice. Group number four, Alexander, Marcicano, and Claudia. Group number five, Andrea Velasquez and Vanessa. And group number six, Hector and Javier. Okay, do you take note of your number? So join your group and now I'm going to share the sentences in WhatsApp.
weren't weren't use no weren't they weren't wearing a mask I think wearing a mask yes I was walking down the street when I saw many people in a restaurant restaurant that they weren't using mask or wearing that wear I think is wear is it wear yes Mm -hmm. Strangely, at the same time, Strangely, are women at the same time? Wait, wait, don't write for maybe sentence. Strangely, at the same time. Uh, women, what? Digamos que extrañamente, al mismo tiempo una mujer se desmayó por el, por el accidente. Strangely, at the same time, a women fainted. Fainted? Fainted. Someone appeared and told us that he was a veterinary. Yes. Sounds great. Yes, sounds great. And then mm -hmm. uh, we uh, we were sadly because the duck. He hit. Oh no, hurt. Hat. So we were sadly, sadly, uh, because the dog mm -hmm. uh, break the legs, break. Hello. Hi, hey. teacher. Yeah, did you finish already? Um, we need a little, a little bit more time. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes. But I think we we got good. <laughs> uh, you're working together. together. You're working together. Yes, we do the history. We share, and then we try to complement her in that history. <laughs> Ah, okay. Okay, yeah. very good. Thanks, teacher. Okay. See you. See you. Hello. Hi. Are you done? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Well, good. So, if you want, you can practice the story and how are you going to tell the story to the class? Okay? Okay. okay. See ya. Tortuga. Tortuga.
Solo. Pa. Ajá. Pa. Chihuahua. Sadly. ¿Cuánto llevamos? Eh, apenas tres. ¿Y son cuántos? Bien. Five. Eh, she was Sally. In. Uh -huh. Considentially. Ah, uh, no, two. We got two. Ah, <laughs> uh, surprisingly. No, but. You, she was early.
Okay, welcome back. Who wants to start with the story? Voluntarily. Come on, don't be shy. Didn't you finish? Do you need more time? No. No, right? No. Okay. Okay, so let's finish. Let let us hear your stories. Let's see who's going to Hollywood to uh, as a writer. <laughs> as a writer for movies. <laughs> number one. Okay, number one. No, you're not number one. <laughs> <laughs> number six. <laughs> Yes. But you want to start, Javier and Hector? Yes, why not? Yeah, right? That's the attitude. Okay, go ahead. Tell us your story. My dog was running in the park when suddenly appeared another dog. And they started to sniff their tail. Then, coincidentally, they started to play. After that, they after that they made another friend. It was a turtle. Oh. But she was suddenly in the door, starting to around her and strangely the total started to dance with them really oh very very cute story <laughs> <laughs> hey very nice thank you yeah it was a ninja <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> that is why it's strangely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Javier and Hector. Next. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, Elisa and Jose. Elisa and Jose. Jose. Okay. Tell us your story. Okay, it started out as an old day, suddenly changed. When I went out, I saw a car crash. Fortunately, nobody got hurt. Sadly, both cars are broken. Strangely, at the same time, a woman fainted because of the accident. Luckily, there was a doctor close to the women and the accident too. Unexpectedly, a man died of a heart attack for the effect of a car crash. Okay, Finish. okay. A lot of things happened in that moment. Huh? <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Next, please, voluntarily. Now, volunteers. Number three. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I'm working with Anna. Uh huh. Okay. We were on our way to the festival when, unfortunately, were an accident. The people stand up and see it that the victim was a dog. Miraculously, someone appeared and told us that he was a veterinary, but we were sadly because the dog broke his legs. Then, surprisingly, the dog opened his eyes when the veterinary checked his legs and put him a medicine with injection for the pain. Ah, okay, okay. A happy, happy end, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Next, please. Number one. 
Okay. Go ahead. I was walking down the street when I saw surprisingly many people in a restaurant that they weren't using a mask. But fortunately, people were keeping the distance. That is a short story. <laughs> okay, okay, good. And who said that? Number four said that. Group number four. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Where, Claudia, do you want to share the history or I tell? Well, okay. I told you the history. <laughs> yeah, please. Okay, perfect. No problem, Claudia. Okay, I'll, I'll start by saying it's a real history from our country. <laughs> oh. The bus driver was not paying attention to the road when surprisingly, two suspicious guys got in the back door. Then they strangely stay in the last seat and unexpectedly, they start robbing all the people. Oh. But luckily, there was a checkpoint ahead and the police stopped them. The passengers were fortunately at the end. <laughs> okay, good. Um. Kind of fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Really strange. Thank you, DJ. Okay, who's missing? Number five, yes. Number five, Andrea and Vanessa. Okay, and I was going to propose her when surprisingly I forgot the ring at home but miraculously I found one in the restaurant under the table the table surprisingly it was better than the one I had bought and luckily it was her size <laughs> that is Good luck. <laughs> very good luck. <laughs> yes, very lucky, very lucky. Okay, people, we have had fun with these stories. Nobody's missing, right? No? No, Ah, okay. Okay, very good. So, uh, please just remember to go to the platform, work on the exercise related to this section and um, at the end of this week you must take the midterm exam yeah so please go ahead with that and uh, that's all for tonight then see you tomorrow have a good night your stories were great okay and i enjoyed them okay. Okay. Good night, teacher. See you night. tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night people. Good night. Thanks, teacher. Thank bye, you. bye. Bye. Bye.